How does SSO save time for schools? Um, pretty simple. Um, it's automating and digitising the current process that they've got um, and removing all the manual labour involved. Yeah, I think it's doing all of the checks that um, a computer can do, um, saving time for the humans to do things that only humans can do. Yeah. Um, and I think um, it saves a lot of time chasing things. It shows everything in real time, including how students are progressing, uh, you know, like what percentages or what specific students are stuck at a certain stage and might need help, um, so that you can proactively go and assist those students um, and uh, seeing where everything's up to so that you're not having to constantly communicate out to people um, like the students saying, don't forget you need to finish your selections by this date, um, or, you know, chasing to see if parents have signed off on um, on the selections their child has chosen. Uh, it's all there in real time. I think... Um, Course counsellors are not form fillers. Yep. They're basically doing what they're best at and counselling yep. and having meaningful discussions rather than, you know, sitting there filling in boxes. No queues out the door when once one student wants to change it and all their friends want to do the same thing too. Yep. Uh, it's just done online. If it's available, it's great. If it's not, then it's not. Uh, it's pretty simple. Um, getting those responses in real time. So a student requests it, maybe two hours later, the head of the learning area goes, yep, that's cool. Um, if the student's got their uh, student email address um, from the school in the system, mm -hmm. uh, they can be notified via email, so they find out as soon as a decision's been made. Um, so they're not left hanging or having to chase someone around the school to find out what the outcome was. And even after the process finishes, you know, we switch, you switch into view only mode, mm -hmm. so um, you haven't got people running into um, you know, your office asking for a copy of these selections because they've lost them. Yep. Um, they've got ongoing access to the system so they can print out their own selections. Exactly. Um, but yeah, and you've got like um, a record of um, you know, why decisions were made um, so that you're not having to fumble through notes and look for, you know, why did this decision get made about this particular thing? It's all there. You can see what happened. Yeah. It was uh, declined, then it was approved, then it was declined, then it was approved again. Like, it's all there listed with all the decisions. So if you do need to find information quickly, it's all in one centralised location. Oh, when's my appointment? Log in and check. Oh, I've lost my logins. Here's your login details. Or... Retrieve them yourself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, or, I, you know, or you can look at look at for the students straight away like it's all there yeah um, so I think the fact that yeah all of that all of the checking that's been done throughout the process um, like it's all done in real time so that means that you know there's what hours like I think it's weeks for some schools to go through all of these forms if they're on paper and manually check it to make sure they meet all the rules that's all gone yeah it's done in real time as the students are making their selections